welcome back to the Brecky Club. We're broadcasting live from Takamong Hyperdome in Canberra. And if you're doing nothing this morning, come on down, say hi, you can win some great prizes. But um, with me at the moment, I have Steve from the National Aquariums in Canberra. And Steve, you, you've got a shark in here. What yep. sort of shark is It's a Port Jackson shark. Right. Is he one that bites? He bites, but he doesn't bite very hard. Right, okay. This, this one's not fully grown yet. Right, okay. Can we... Let's, let's have a closer to look. Very rough skin. Yeah. Like most sharks. Yeah, wow. Oh, amazing. You can see the spine on the front of the fin there. Yeah, at the right. top. And here's only one of the, of the exhibits you've got there. That's right. We have plenty more of these. Yeah. And about eight different species of sharks. Yeah. And, of course, a whole bunch of fish as well. That's fantastic. All right. Well, actually, Nikki was out of the aquarium the other day. We'll see what she got up to. Let's have a look. I'd like to be under the sea In an octopus's garden in the shade Storm. Hi everyone, I'm standing outside the National Aquarium in Canberra, home to one of the biggest and best exhibitions of life beneath the water. Behind these walls lies the mighty Murray Cod, beautiful tropical fish and dunna, dunna, some sharks. Let's go beneath the surface. To dive beneath the ocean is to dive into another world. A mosaic of vibrant colours coupled with marine life and a peaceful silence. The National Aquarium brings all this to life with the biggest display of Australian native fish in the world, as well as an enormous collection of saltwater species. You can walk under the water through a massive oceanarium, while sharks and ghostly rays glide just inches from your face. This is the most exciting part of the aquarium, holding 200 species of marine life. Visitors walking through the transparent tunnel get a spectacular close-up view of underwater divers hand feeding the fish and the sharks. This scary looking stingray can eat a whole fish in one gulp. There are 23 other aquariums with starfish, tropical fish and turtles. The aquarium's education officer Kathy says many school groups come through to learn about the underwater world. Well, we do have an education program and a thousand students come through a week from all over Australia. Northern Territory visited us the other week. We have um, Canberra students coming all the time from little ones up to year 11 and 12 that are doing marine biology or biology at school. And we give them a talk, a lecture, uh, have specimens to show them, and then we even make them work and they do worksheets, but it's all fun. I teamed up with one of the aquarium's littlest visitors, Stephen, and marine diver Glenn, and together we came eyeball to eyeball with a squirming baby Port Jackson shark. I'm not really sure I'm going to like this. After viewing life on the inside, kids, it's time to venture outdoors and take on the locals at fly fishing. All aboard for the trout pond. While you're at the aquarium, you can try luck at fly fishing in the trout pond. Here he goes. <laughs> With fly fishing, you can spot, stalk and catch trout from the pond using a rod and, of course, a fly on the end. What I want to know is, once you've caught the trout, what do you do? If you're curious about marine animals, a trip to the National Aquarium is an experience not to be missed. As for me, I'm going back to the trout pond to try and land the big one. That's right. It was great. No problems. Right now we're going to look at Dusted Lee and Mutley.